I'm a professor of uh, new infrastructure development at the Alliance Manchester Business School at the University of Manchester in the UK. I'm a civil engineer by training and uh, I, then I evolved into, uh, into re as a researcher of uh, management issues, predominantly looking into large scale infrastructure projects. That was a, an invitation uh, from my colleague uh, Ashwin, Professor Ashwin at ITT Madras, uh, as part of, uh, I think it was called a global network. It was, there was some funding uh, coming from uh, the central government and he invited me to teach at ITT Madras for, for a week to his students. And uh, of, I had done already research in India at the time with uh, Larsen and Turbo, which has a, a large base also in, in Chennai. And uh, so I thought, well, this is a fantastic opportunity to get to know better Ashwin and uh, the, his students. The topic was me mega project leadership and uh, governance. Mega projects are, it's a common term that we use to designate large scale infrastructure developments. And uh, it's an insight into the challenges that leaders uh, have uh, face in these enterprises and helps to develop uh, intuition in order to make the difficult judgment calls that leaders are confronted with. So it includes a number of case studies from projects around the world and uh, looking into different uh, uh, situa difficult situations that uh, leaders are likely to be confronted with and what sort of uh, alternatives they have, what are the different trade-offs associated with the alternatives and what uh, frameworks they can mobilize in order to help them uh, make uh, informed decisions. What Ashwin asked me and what I proposed to do, and I think it worked quite well, is I delivered a, a three-day course on a mega project leadership and governance to Ashwin students. And uh, that was uh, really interesting. The course is very interactive, it includes a number of case studies, uh, class discussion in a Socratic way, it includes some lectures. And uh, the students were really exciting uh, uh, to teach, were very, very interested in, the, in uh, being exposed to the new ideas, very inquisitive. So there was a, a lot of uh, engagement and interaction during the classroom. In addition to that, I met with uh, Ashwin's uh, doctoral students. And so we also had a two-hour uh, workshop to the, uh, where I learned about uh, their research interests, their research projects, and I, I gave some feedback. And uh, then uh, I met also some people from the, in the leadership of um, ITT Madras to understand a bit more about uh, the vision for the, for the university, which was also quite interesting. And finally, I also had the opportunity to touch base with friends from uh, Larsen and Turbo, and actually, I end up back-to-back uh, -back teaching uh, an executive education program to them. So Professor Ashwin is a, is a scholar that is a civil engineer by training. He did a, a PhD at uh, Stanford with uh, Professor Ray Levitt, who happens to have been the PhD supervisor of my own PhD uh, supervisor. So there's kind of a, an interesting affinity there. And uh, Ashwin, uh, just like me, also has this uh, empirical interest on uh, large scale infrastructure projects. He actually comes from a different angle, from a theoretical perspective. He, he mobilizes uh, institutional theory, which is kind of not my literature. Uh, but I always enjoy uh, chatting with him because I, I find it our conversations always very illuminating and we share 
uh, similar empirical interests. Uh, the style was uh, worked very well because uh, so I was able to choose the accommodation. Uh, so I stayed in a in a in a very nice place in uh, the center of Chennai, and then there was a driver that would pick pick me up every every day in the morning uh, to and would drive me to the campus. And the campus is this uh, uh, idyllic setting with uh, all these large uh, eucalyptus trees, and you have the monkeys that. Uh, appear <laughs> uh, in the classroom <laughs> so it's just a, a very idyllic bucolic uh, place with a, a wonderful temperature at springtime so a really a very seductive uh, place wonderful food as well <laughs> it's the largest democracy in the world uh, an extremely complicated country with uh, very difficult challenges that need the government needs to tackle in terms of inequality. Uh, this, uh, you have pockets of extreme poverty, but at the same time, you have these young, talented, uh, well-educated uh, workforce uh, thousands of history on your backs so extremely gifted gifted individuals so it kind of is a country of contrasts um, you have uh, the best of mankind and the and the worst in some ways and uh, from a management perspective the opportunities are immense no it's, so it's it's a so if you study new infrastructure development if and if you care in the ways in which development of new infrastructure can help societies tackle the grand challenges of our time, then certainly India offers you a fantastic context to do research and to, to understand how we can uh, improve the world. Um, and of course, the fact that uh, it is the largest democracy in the world and in some, and in some ways, it's uh, a lot of the institutional framework mirrors the institutional framework that we encounter in the UK that uh, offers us a, a natural setting to do research that is very interesting. In regards to feedback that I would have to give to uh, ITT Madras in, in terms of this uh, taking these collaborations into the next level, I think it's the involving more the, the industry and public sector organizations can be advantageous for both parts. Because certainly in, the, in management research, uh, gaining access to public and private sector organizations can always be a challenge to, and without access, it becomes difficult to collect data and to undertake uh, empirical studies. So in that sense, uh, it can be very interesting if uh, under the umbrella of this cooperation, we involve uh, uh, public and private sector organizations and uh, create opportunities for our own PhD students to ac gain access into these organizations and, uh, and integrate the interaction with the industry with uh, academia so that's and so accelerate the impact of our research insights so that would be my only advice mm -hmm.